Today, part three on how your identity and focusing on becoming can help you design the life that you desire. Let's go. You are incredible. Your body has a purpose. Your life has a purpose. You were designed to live the best life possible. Mic check. Mic sound okay? Camera one good. Camera two good. All right, here we go. What's going on, my beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode. You are listening to Listen, You're Not Defeated, and I am your host, David Hernandez. With every episode, I want to help you live a life of freedom through health in a simple, smart, and sustainable way so that you can achieve all that you desire. If you haven't already subscribed before we jump into today's episode, click the subscribe button here on my channel and click the little bell so you can get all the notifications of our up and coming episodes. And if you're listening to us on your favorite podcast station, I want to say thank you, but make sure you click the follow button so you don't miss an episode. You can listen to us on Spotify. You can listen to us on Apple uh, Podcasts. You can listen to us on iHeart, on, on Google Podcasts your favorite station. You can find us there under listen, you're not defeated. And the last three or the last two episodes, rather, we've been talking about a very important topic that I feel is the foundation and should be the foundation for everybody's life. I don't care where you're at in your in your life. I don't care where you're at in your journey. If you're looking to pursue a, a, a specific goal in health or in life or whatever it is you're chasing after, this piece right here, my friends, is what I believe is the core element that will determine people's success in life. And when I say, say success, I mean I'm talking about like optimal success, right? And if you didn't watch the first episode or listen to the first episode, I highly recommend you go back and listen to it. You can find it here. That's the thumbnail. The title of that one is The Effect of Becoming. And then part two, find it here under this thumbnail, is How a Notebook and a Pen Can Change Your Life. And today is part three. And I'm super really excited about this. Because I think this is going to take you a, a, to another level. I really do. I really believe that the stresses and kind of this anxiety and frustration that can easily come to our life will be removed by doing what we talk about in today's episode. Life is incredible. Uh, we've talked about the statistics and I actually learned it once listening to Gary Vee. He said that being born human is one in 400 trillion, about one in 400 trillion. That's incredible. That's like, I don't know, the, the odds of that happening is just that they're a miracle. And so you are a miracle, which means that your life has value. You have worth. You were born for a valuable reason. You were born as a gift to this world. So you're a gift which means that you as a human have astronomical worth. And it's really about understanding, like, again, this gift of life that we've been given and what it really means to be alive. And each day we have an opportunity to live that out. And I understand that there's circumstances and, and our past and, and, and things that have gone wrong in our life that can kind of bring us to a state that we no longer might care about ourselves or about our health or about the future. We may have lose hope. We might be stressed and anxious. I mean, there's a lot of negativity that can come from it, but I believe that there's so much good that we have the opportunity to explore each day when we wake up. If you're alive today, it's an amazing gift that you've been given. And now here the question is like, how do we live this out? 
if we want to achieve a certain status or 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 a certain type of life or a certain profession or whatever goal desire you might have in life and this third piece component today is really again it's an invitation as we've been working through kind of the the steps that i believe we could follow to get us to this place today is now that we've made a choice because look becoming is a choice changing our identity is a choice who we want to become is a choice what we want our life to be is a choice and we have the ability to be able to craft that and design that through the effect of becoming through identity changing our identity so it's when we make the choice of becoming who we want to become, meaning I'm now invested in this, I'm committing to this, I desire this, I want this. Last week, we talked about the four questions that can help us bring clarity to that, right? What do I want? What do I need? What do I desire? What is important to me? We've got to now get to this place that this is the life that I want. This is the person I want to be. Now, we may not know what the fullness of it, and that's okay. Because through life and through this journey, we're going to be able to discover and uncover what that can be and what that's like for you, right? But it is about making a conscious choice of, okay, it's not going to be a hobby anymore for me. Because oftentimes we pursue things and we live life in a hobby style. All right, I'm going to try it out and see if it works. All right, I'm going to I'm going to go through it. I'm going to try this business venture and I'm putting a time frame on it. If it doesn't work for a certain amount of time or after a certain amount of time, then I'm going to give it up. That's a hobby. That's not true commitment. That's not true dedication determination. That's not true um choice of of really saying I'm all in. In other words, And we got to get to that place to where living healthy, having health as your foundation is no, it's not going to be, it's not a hobby anymore. It's who I am. It's my identity. It's me as a person. It's the the standard that I've now chosen to live my life by. It's who I want to be. It's my makeup. Everything around me is about that, surrounded in that, right? And that goes for whatever else you're desiring that you want to be or have, the life you want. And when we now make that choice, okay, this is, in the second video, we talked about like getting very clear on that, right? Now it's, okay, I've made that choice, now what? How do I now start to really change my identity? How do I really now start to become? After we settle it here and here, we make the conscious choice in our, in our thoughts, in our, in our brain, in our, in our conscious and subconscious, we bring it down to our heart. This is who I want to be. This is the type of life I want to have. This is the type of mom I want to be for my kids. This is the type of dad I want to be for my kids. This is the type of executive I want to be for my business. This is the type of friend I want to be for my friends, this is the type of husband I want to be for my, for my wife, vice versa. We then now start to craft out things in a very unique way, but I also want to say in a very fun way because look, life should be fun. And these next exercises that I want to share with you, it's really about having fun. And really almost taking it as a form of game and seeing how many points, and you're going to learn about this here in a moment, how many points can I rack up each day in this life to win in this game of life? And so now that we've had the T-chart, we wrote down what we want, what we don't want to be who we want to be, who we don't want to be, and what we don't want our future to look like or end up as, 
right? Very important. Now that we have that, now what we want to do is start asking very specific, specific questions that are basic questions, but they're specific because now it's going to be specific to you and who you are becoming and who you have chosen to become and the life that you've chosen to have for you. We now are taking that on for you. This is me. I am this in the same example like we talked about the bodybuilder. The bodybuilder is, he's now a bodybuilder. You are whatever it is, whether it's a fit mom, a healthy mom, a active father, a strong father, a fit father, a productive father, a whatever it is for you, thin and and vibrant and active and full of life and energetic and no longer is one that is tired all the time. No longer is one that, that, that is feeling weak, that doesn't have energy, that is sedentary. I want to be in, I'm an active person. I'm an active individual full of life. That is who you are now. You are that we've got to make that choice. This is who I am, right? Then we start breaking it down and we start looking, okay, what does this person do? What are some of the things that this person has? What are some of the things that this person does? So now we're going to look at a series of questions that I'm going to invite you to explore for yourself. And I also invite you to create other questions that maybe I don't, I don't mention here today. This is for you, right? This is your, your kind of exercise that you're doing on your own so that you can start really getting this picture clear for you. Because again, it's about clarity. We want to make it clear so that now we have some actual practical things that we're going to be doing. And in that doing, it is aligned directly with who you are who you have chosen to become, who you have decided to live as, the life that you've decided to have for you and your family and your future and everything around you. Because then in that process, everything that you desire will manifest because of the process that we're going through right now, okay? So some of these questions will be like, okay, if, if, if you are wanting to be, let's just say, for example, a healthy energetic. Maybe you want to release weight. Maybe you want to get thinner. Maybe you want to no longer be tired. You no longer want to be sedentary. You want to be an active, healthy, fit person. Let's say that's who you want to be. And again, we looked at the power of specificity, right? Getting very clear on what that is, very detailed on it. So some of the things that we want to start asking ourselves to simplify this, the now what, how do I do it? It's, well, what is a healthy, fit, energetic, thriving, full of life person do? What does this person do when they wake up in the morning? Maybe that person, not maybe, but I, I, I almost guarantee you, if I'm looking at my life in, in this example, right? You start off by making your bed. You start off by maybe drinking 16 to 32 ounces of water or eight ounces of water. You start by doing some type of movement, some type of exercise, right? Some type of movement to activate your lymphatic system so that you wake up. You wake up and now you are being active. You're being that person, right? Maybe you have some tea to start your digestive system to function. Maybe you go for a walk, right? You brush your teeth, you take a shower. Maybe you have your clothes already there to change the, the moment you step out of bed and you make the bed, you now change into in a, some outfit that you can go and start doing something active, whether that's walking, whether that's walking your dog, playing with your dog, doing some, some stretches, doing some dynamic stretches. What does this person do in the morning? That's a great question for you. And there's a lot of resources that we have now available for us, right? Jump on Google. What does an active person do in the morning? What would you think that person does? Next question could be, well, what does this person think and feel? How does this person feel? This, this person isn't defeated. 
They don't have negative thoughts. They don't have self-destructive words that they speak to themselves. They don't condemn themselves. They don't judge themselves. They're not maybe blaming themselves or shaming themselves. Well, what do they do? What is their, th their thoughts? How do they feel about themselves? What do they speak? It's another great question to write down, right? Another thing is like, what shoes do they wear? What clothes do they wear? Even in that, because now that we've chosen to become this person, like we may have to go through our wardrobe and like get rid of some stuff because what today we have on is literally a reflection of who we've, who we are and who we've chosen to be. Typically a person that is unhealthy or is overweight or is not in the best shape for themselves, they typically don't care about what they wear. They typically are always maybe in sandals. They're maybe just in joggers. They're maybe in oversized shirts, right? What does a person wear? Does a person wear makeup if you're a woman? Maybe cutting your hair, bringing a new hairdo in line with who and how you would like to look. Yeah, David, but I, I don't feel good about myself. Yeah, but we're not looking at yourself as you are today present. You're now looking at yourself and who you are aspiring to be and to become. So therefore, I'm not going to live my present day as I was or as I am. I am living in who I desire to be, who I've made the choice to become. So therefore, even though I may look at myself in the mirror and I don't see myself pretty, I am pretty because I'm choosing to be that. I'm choosing to be this new person. So therefore, I'm going to beautify myself. I'm going to live as if I'm becoming. I am that. That is who I am. That is my identity. Therefore, I'm going to dress up as that. I'm going to live out as that. I'm going to think as that. I'm going to speak as that. I'm going to make my choices as that. One of the things that I, I tell my students all the time is before we make any choice, Ask yourself, is this choice in line with who you have decided to be? Is this nutrition choice in line with who you've decided to be? Is this choice of, of, of doing certain things in, in line with who you've decided to be? Is this choice in, who you've de in line with who you've decided to become and who you are as your new identity, as your new being? Next question is like, what, what environment does this person surround themselves in? Look, you may have to give up some friends. You may have to change who you're hanging out with. You may have to tell certain people, coworkers, and, and people that you've been hanging around with, hey, I, I, I can't be your friend anymore. Maybe you're not as direct in that way, but maybe in a respectful way. But the, the, it is true what they say. You are based on who your five closest friends are. And if you're hanging around people that are nowhere near in who you want to be, again, taking that example of that fit, thriving, active person that's releasing weight, that is thin, that is strong, that is fit, that has muscle, whatever that is for yourself, healthy, able to spend time with their kids, be active with their kids, go hiking, go snorkeling, go scuba diving, whatever it is for you, if we keep surrounding ourselves with people that don't do that, that may be like to always sit around, go, go drinking, go to the restaurants, very sedentary, go, go out and drink or whatever that might be. We got to get rid of that. The key here is that as we're going through these questions, we're really also looking at what things are interfering in my life that I can eliminate or that is stopping me from being the person that I want to be. As we answer these questions and we get clarity about this, we're, we're going to start now evaluating and getting clear as to, okay, what are the things that I wanted that I should be doing? And this is where we're going to start to create a little point system here. But before I get into that is what do you, what does this person say no to? 
What do they say no to? We don't always have to say yes to things. If these things that we're saying yes to are keeping us from living that life or are affecting us, are destroying us, are hurting us, what do they say no to? And what does this person that you've decided to be say yes to? Oof, those are two very powerful questions. What does he say yes to? They say yes to in terms of their nutrition. What do they say yes to in terms of their daily activity? What do they say yes to in terms of what they do in the morning, of what they do at night? What do they do for fun? Another great question, right? What is their daily activity like? What do they do? What are the choices that they make in terms of on the weekends? Do they just sit on the couch and watch TV all day? Or do they rather go out for a walk? Do they go hiking? Do they make new friends? Do they sign up for some type of classes, boxing classes, kickboxing classes, swimming classes? I don't know. What does that person do? Right? And the more we can start to answer these questions, the better it's going to help us to be able to have a better idea of what we now can start doing so that we can now start changing our identity, our makeup of who we are. Because remember, our identity is the makeup of our behavior, of the things that we do that make up who we are. If we can start to change our behaviors, the things that we do daily on a regular basis, the patterns that we are doing in life, it's going to change our identity. We're going to be a different person. Last question that I want to leave for you, before, leave to you before we go on to the, the next part of this that will now start to be fun is well, what do they eat? What does this person eat? What is their choice of, of nutrition, right? What is their choice of nutrients? Promise you it's not sugar, it's not donuts, it's not candy, it's not processed food, it's not chips, it's not fried foods often. Some of these things we can have on, uh, in moderation, right? But the, the purpose here, what is their primary choice? How do they eat? So now that we've gotten that information, now the second piece here is what we're going to start to create a point system, which will make it fun for you to start reinforcing and looking at your identity that you've chosen to become. And this piece I've got from a gentleman by the name of Struth, Struthless, <laughs> hope I probably didn't pronounce it right, Struthless probably butchered it. And if you're watching, please excuse it. But anyways, in this part is what we're going to be looking at is really looking at points that we're going to be able to give to ourselves. And the, pur the purpose of this is really looking at the points we want to look at them and gain them for towards our new me. So evaluating your life today, I want you to take a moment to write down, well, what things that you do today that you would give or that would gain a point for either new me or old me. Specifically right now, if you can write down like, okay, maybe I sit for too long. Maybe I um, overeat. Look at processed foods too much. I really like sugar. Whatever those things are, I want to start writing things down and looking at, okay, this thing that I do, is it a point for old me or for new me? And in this journey, what we want to start doing is we want to start doing things that we can rack up points for new me. And looking at our life today and evaluating that will help us to look at, okay, what I'm doing today, is it really in line with this new me? And if it's not, it's okay. Because in this, we're going to start to change this so that you can start shifting into becoming the person that you want to become into new me right into new you. And in this, it's looking at the more we can focus on these new things, the more we can focus on doing what this person does, the more we can focus on being that new you, 
Even though today, again, your reality might be completely the opposite. It might be reflecting somebody totally wrong that is unpleasing to yourself. And it's not necessarily that we're looking at faking anything. It's literally now what we're trying to do is reshape, recondition, and change who you are. And we do that by reinforcing this new you. So when you look at, like, for example, let's let's look at our clothes. You look at, well, what does this clothes have to do with it? Why do I need to change my clothes? Why do I need to start changing and doing all these things? Well, because what you're doing today, every time you do that thing today, you're reinforcing your old you, your present you, who you don't want to no longer be. The clothes that you consistently continue to wear, you're reinforcing, this is me, my unhealthy per the unhealthy person, the overweight person, the unfit person, the weak person, the tired person, the person that that has no more hope, that doesn't like the way they look, that seems ugly, that is unpleasing to herself, that has no confidence. In doing those things, you literally are reinforcing that person, the old you, which is why as we shift into this new you and doing these things, right? point for new you. Oh, I woke up. I made my bed. One point for, for new me. I put on, uh, uh, my active clothes and I went for a walk. Huh? Point one point for new me. I did some stretches one point for new me. And the more we do this, we start to reinforce this new identity. And it's just like anything else. The more we repeat that, and it's not about perfection. Okay. It's not about, oh crap, today I messed up. So now it's one point for old me because I didn't do this. No, no, no. It's just simply knowing that if we continue to move in this direction, I am this. I'm no longer this old me. So even if we have a day that maybe it doesn't go as successful as we would want it, we, we, we maybe have some slip ups. It doesn't matter because that's no longer your your, your current identity. That's no longer you. The, the, the slip ups and the mess ups and the things that we do is part of that transition, that process that is taking us to becoming who we are becoming. And it's about consistently, okay, this is who I am. So even if I messed up today, it doesn't reflect my new identity. It doesn't reflect who I am because I'm no longer old me. I'm no longer that person. I can now still choose today the next day to be this person. So it's no longer about frustration and I failed and I suck and I, and I, 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 um, I'm not good enough, but it's knowing that that's no longer me. So even if this happens, it's okay. This is who I am. This is my new identity. That's no longer going to impact me. I can get right back into what this person does. Therefore, focusing on getting one more point for this new me and having fun with it because you are now walking and living as if this is who you are. That is the real key here. That's why when you wake up in the morning, I'm living as if I am, I am as if this who I've decided to become, this identity that I have decided to, to have for myself, I'm walking in it each day and I walk it out each day. So if you never wore a suit and you want to be a successful entrepreneur, let's just say you want to be a business owner, aside from the work that you have to do to build the business and run the business, but simply becoming that, you now start to wear a suit What are you doing? You're reinforcing, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a business owner. You do it again the next day. What are you doing? You're reinforcing, I'm a business owner. I'm an entrepreneur. You go out and you network, hanging around with other business entrepreneurs. You start to do things that they do in the sense of strategies, getting yourself a mentor, learning new techniques and strategies for your business. All of these things is reinforcing that you are that business owner. So therefore, you will no longer have to think, oh my gosh, I got to wear a suit again today. What does that person do? You just wear it. Why? Because you understand that that's your nature. You understand that that's who you are. 
That's what that person, that type of person does. You don't have to. Now you are choosing to. You don't have to. You get to. Based on who you've decided to become. So have fun with this point system. You can always search him up if you want to learn more about him. I told him, uh, Struthless, we got some of these ideas from him. You can search him up, get some more information about it. But again, it's really about looking at what today, what am I doing today that is one point for old me and what can I start doing to give me one point for new me? Look, it's possible. And when we go through these steps that we talked about today, it now helps us to make it easier to becoming. Because now when you are that, you don't have to think about, oh my gosh, I got to work out today. Oh my gosh, I got to eat this food that I don't like. No, no, no. I get to exercise. I'm excited to exercise. I'm choosing to make these foods. I'm choosing to say yes to these foods and no to these foods. I'm choosing to do these activities. Now it's just your makeup. It's part of who you are. It's your identity. And the more you do it, the more you desire it, the more you want it. And you no longer have to be worried about, well, what if I go back to that old me? What if I gain all the weight back again that I, that I was doing back then when I was on these diets? No, it won't happen because now we've changed the core component, which is you. You are the number one or you're, you're the, the, the denominator in all of these things, right? It's you. And if we change you, your core, your essence, you as the person, you won't go back unless you choose to go back. So if you have any questions about what we talked about today, look, drop them in the comment section. I want to help you. That is my, that is my goal. My mission is to help 1 million people live a life of freedom through health. If you have any questions that you would like to dig deeper in, send me an email. Information's here at the bottom. You can shoot me an email to david at davidhernandez.co david at davidhernandez.co. I'd love to answer those questions for you. And if we haven't already connected on social media, look, let's do so. You can find me on all social media platforms under the handle at Dave K. Hernandez, at Dave K. Hernandez. I'd love to be your friend. I'd love to connect with you and just support you through this journey. And if you have any specific things that you want to break down any further, look, drop in the comment section or just shoot me an email, like I said. And if you want to connect with me and learn more about what I do and how I help my students live a life of freedom through health, visit my website, www.davidhernandez.co, davidhernandez.co. You can find all the information there. And if you haven't already subscribed to this YouTube channel, click the subscribe button and click the little bell so you get all the notifications of our up and coming episodes. And also, if you're listening to us on your favorite podcast station, click the follow button so you don't miss an episode. And before I end today's episode, I want to invite you to join my community. Look, my purpose and my mission is to help 1 million people live a life of freedom through health. And I do that every Friday. You can join my community by joining my free Friday trainings every week. It's completely free. We talk about all the things that will benefit you to live that life of freedom. And it's 30 minutes at the beginning. I bring a specific topic. The next 30 minutes, I answer your question. So you can find that link there in the description. Go ahead and click on it. Register so that you can get the, ex the direct link to join us every single Friday. And so you might be asking, why do I need to register? It's very simple. It's simply about taking action. I believe that there's power in taking action. When you take action at something and you say, I want to join this. I want to be a part of this. You're committing yourself to it. And that's what helps us stay focused on the life that we're crafting, right? So click the link, register. I also will be sending free information, free uh, content that will benefit your life. So click that register. And if you didn't, if you didn't watch the first two episodes, uh, the first two parts of this three part series, you can find the link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your podcast. Listen, you're not defeated. And I am your host, David Hernandez. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you next week. Remember every Tuesday, a brand new episode, share this, share it with a friend, 
tag somebody, and I hope to see you then. Take care of yourself. Remember, you are incredible. Go out, crush it, and live your best life. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.